Okay, welcome to our iMovie tutorial. I am Andy Wang, and over here is... Ryan Wong. Hey, guys. So, step one, you gotta import all your footage into the iMovie events folder. So, once you've got all your footage laid out, you want to go to um, whatever your internet browser is, and you're going to have to find a website. It's called Footage Crate. Just search it up on Google. Footage Crate. You click on it, it'll bring you to this website. This is their home page. You go to Royalty Free Effects, and under that, you can have muzzle flashes for guns, blood in 3D for blood, fire and explosions, dust and smoke, or other stuff. Now, in our case, we're going to need some uh, earthquakes, so we'll just find that an earthquake hole. You click on it, it'll show you a preview, it'll play it, and then you click download earthquake hole at the top. So once you open your download, I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> okay, so once you have your footage, put it somewhere so you can find it easily, and then you want to go back to iMovie, and you go to file, import, movies, and you import all them stuff. Do not optimize video. Make sure the check mark is not checked. I repeat, do not optimize video or else it will not work. The, um, if you do not optimize video, once you put it in picture in picture, the black box will still be around whatever you have. Okay, once you have that, not optimized, you import it. And it'll thumbnail thing <laughs> okay once you import it you drag whatever you want into whatever clip you want Do this, yeah. Don't do this. Okay, so once you import it, make sure you go to iMovie and Preferences. In Preferences, make sure Show Advanced Tools are on. This way you can get the picture in picture and green screen and stuff like that. Now, then you drag it in to wherever you want it and click Picture in Picture. Your little earthquake hole will appear in your clip. And you just drag it to the wanted size, and you adjust it. Just a little tip for filming. Every single time you want a good special effect from Footage Crate, and you're doing iMovie, you want a tripod still shot. So, like when he points, it appears, but if the camera is moving, the earthquake hole will not move uh, with the um with the shot so you do you want a still shot as still as possible as you can make it so it, look, it looks re me more realistic so so this one this one's going over into the next shot so just shorten it so he points it appears Kyle trips so now you want the earthquake hole already appearing this shot is gonna be added with the green screen, which we'll show you later how to do. Picture in picture, same step. But this time it's close up, so make it big. So let's see. No. If the the special effect doesn't reach all the way across past your footage, then you double click on it and you go to speed and you make it slower, closer to the turtle. You can also adjust it manually. Okay, so once you dragged it to the wanted size, if you just play it through, iMovie will lag and it won't show up very well. So you gotta scroll through and make sure it looks good. You can also press the bar down here. This is how many seconds per box in each clip. So, let's make it half a second. That's the best it can do for each frame. So, here if you're scrolling through, but if you just play it, it won't work. You could also click this little box up here, and you just scroll through everything. This is also the same thing. 
Okay, so for the green screen, you're gonna have two special effects in the same shot. You can't accomplish this in iMovie, so you're gonna have to go back to your project library and create a new project by the plus sign down there. And uh, you just name your project whatever. And you import the shot where you're gonna have the two special effects in the same shot. And you do the the special effect earthquake hole thing again. And once you have this, you're going to have to adjust it again. Try to make realistic. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so once you've adjusted it, you want to export it using QuickTime or iMovie. It doesn't really matter. And once you export this, it's not going to take a long time. Oh, uh, what the heck? What the heck is happening? It's going backwards? It's ridiculous. Oh, well. Okay, now you got that. You go to your original uh, project. Where is it? Uh, we've done too much stuff. Ryan, I told you to delete Oh, uh, here, here we go. Wait, no, no. Um, what was it? What was it called? Why are we all dying of depression? iMovie, just yeah. wait a while. Um, iMovie. Movie. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait a second. Oh, oh, here. Okay. Ha! I'm a ninja. Okay. <laughs> now, once you have that, you're going to have to import the special effect clip you just made. This, now you can optimize video since it's already been exported without the blackness. So, just click on it, import. Okay, so once it's exported... You know, now iMovie doesn't lag, and it looks pretty awesome. You've got an earthquake hole on the ground or in the sky, depends on where you put it. So once you do that, you replace the original shot with the special effects shot. Our next segment will teach you how to get a green screen, and our friend Kyle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> will uh, fall down a hole in this part. We will teach you how to put in the green screen of Kyle falling in the earthquake hole. And we have to have him jumping almost straight down when you're shooting with green screen. Make sure the green screen has no wrinkles in it. Okay, make sure your actor is not wearing green either. So you want to gra drag the green screen clip on the clip where you want the green screen to be. And then you select green screen. You crop it so that it looks like he's actually jumping in. Okay, it might take a while to get this, um, get this right. It's yeah, um... Okay, so now you want to crop your green screen. You select cropped. And you just drag the little dots around so it looks like he's jumping in the earthquake hole. He's. This isn't a really good jump because his head's too big. <laughs> so just keep adjusting it until you get it right. Okay, fast forward time. Yeah, actually this isn't fast forward, this is how fast I work. No, I'm 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 controlling the mouse. All you're doing is holding the microphone. But I'm in front of the computer, so that doesn't make any sense. I'm so I can I, I'm holding the microphone. Prove it to the people that you're in front of the computer. Yeah, okay. You know what? You know what? Okay, this is how fast I work and this is how fast Andy works in three, two, one. Yeah, see? Right there. Yeah, because I don't use fast forward like a yeah. cheater. So now you take all the excess off, and that's actually a pretty good green screen jump. Now on to the cloning part of the Apple Vader 1. Um, let's see. Cloning on iMovie is a green screen without a green screen. So 
you can see we've already placed our first part of the footage into the iMovie. Now you drag the second part of the footage onto the first part. Time it right when he claps. Right there. Now you click green screen. I say click, okay. And then you click cropped, like in the jumping part. Move it. There. Just, yeah. And then in, in the actual clip when you're filming, try to get it as fast as possible so the light doesn't change. And that's actually a really, really good cloning shot. See how it appears while he claps? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll through it and double check to see if it's good. You might want to move it around to make sure it's perfect. And that's how you do cloning, like a boss. I hope you liked our tutorial. <laughs> hope you like our tutorial and use those special effects in some of your movies. Yes, okay, so this is Ryan Wong, Andy Wang, and Kyle Van. Signing out. Bye! Alright, for more videos, check out our YouTube channel, Arc Production Zero, for more videos that you might like. In the links in the description.